So telomeres are the ends of our chromosomes, and our chromosomes carry all of our genetic material, or the DNA, um, and they're wound into little tight packages that we call chromosomes. And on the very tips, or ends of our chromosomes, are what we call telomeres. And you can think of this almost like the ends of shoelaces, where um, there are little tight packages on the ends that keep the shoelaces from fraying at the ends. And that's really the benefit of our telomeres, is it keeps our chromosomes from fraying and the DNA from breaking down in our chromosomes. Our cells and all the cells in our body will divide many, many times over our lifetime, literally billions of times. And the more times a cell divides, um, the shorter the telomeres become. And so over the course of our lifetime, it will be observed that our telomeres get shorter in length as we get older. Um, now there are some studies that have shown that some individuals have premature shortening of their telomeres, and that's often uh, correlated with chronic disease. And so individuals who have diseases like, say, diabetes or heart disease or stroke, even cancer, um, have been observed to have shorter telomeres than we expect them to for their age. So it may not only be a measure of biological aging, but actually a measure of disease and disease that's causing our cells to divide and, and age faster than we expect. There have been a number of studies that have shown that healthy individuals, so individuals who have a diet high in antioxidants, individuals who exercise who don't smoke, they seem to have longer telomere length than people who don't have healthy lifestyles, so for people who smoke or don't exercise, for example. Um, so a recent study that came out last week um, looked at a population of 6,500 people between the ages of 20 and about 85, and looked at how not how often they exercised, it wasn't actually categorized exactly like that, but looked at whether or not they exercised over a period of time uh, retrospectively. And the individuals who did exercise actually had longer telomeres on average than the individuals who did not exercise. Um, and of most interest uh, was that that phenomenon was observed um, to be most significant in people between the ages of 40 and 65, which might suggest that beginning an exercise program or at least maintaining an exercise program in that age bracket can help to slow the process of aging. Yeah, so we do have some tests available that can take a person's blood sample and look at the length of their telomeres in their blood sample. Um, what we don't know is what do we actually do with that information. So if we observe that someone has shorter or even longer telomeres than we expect, we don't really know what to tell them uh, that means. And so from a clinical perspective, we can't really make any meaningful conclusions about the health of that individual. So at most, it should be used as a measure of perhaps biological aging today, um, maybe a tool to help educate people on how to be more healthy uh, in terms of what lifestyle factors can influence telomeres. Um, but in terms of drawing any meaningful conclusions, we really are limited uh, today. But the data will continue to grow in this area.